Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch and this is the Stockwatch list for September 20th, Wednesday. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, let's check out some earnings that came out after the bell. We had some uh, heavy names, uh, AIR, not a big name, but uh, this one uh, popped in the uh, after hours and uh, as you can see, a close strong and now uh, it's up at 37.75 it hit. It was 37.71, so AIR, an aerospace and defense name. They had earnings. Uh, their earnings came in in line, but they beat on revenue. Uh, next up, we had the Adobe. So that's one of the bigger names, Adobe. Uh, sold off. Adobe actually uh, beat by nine cents, beats by on the revenue, and uh, the pops. They sell it off, and um, right now it's trading at uh, 151. But if you look at the daily chart, I mean, this thing has had a massive uh, run into earnings, so uh, that could be why there. Um, K O O L. Uh, this one had earnings after the bell, and uh, let's see, they um, they had a increase year o year over year on their revenue, so it's a little tiny stock, and it's bidding up in the after hours. K O O L. Uh, let's see, some gun stocks had some movement. Uh, Ruger, a big pop, and uh, what's the other one? Um, a O B C. Uh, this news came out during the trading hours, and you see the big pop here. Uh, gun stocks gain on report that Trump sets set to ease export rules for uh, U.S. gun manufacturers, and that was the reason why A O B C. Uh, they had those uh, big pops in uh, Ruger. Um, A O B C. That used to be the old uh, Smith and Wesson, and now they call themselves American Outdoor Brands. And uh, then we had uh, FedEx, and they had earnings uh, after the bell, and you see that stock dropped, but buyers came in, and I'm trying to find the uh, earnings for FedEx for you. Here it is. Uh, FedEx, they had earnings per share of uh, $2.51, and uh, so year over year, uh, plus 4.4%, uh, but I believe that they said that their guidance was going to be in line, uh, for FedEx, so uh, that stock uh, dropped, and uh, it did recover off of 207, uh, trading 212. So it's down about four dollars from uh, the daily chart here, and uh, so it's trading like 212. So down a little bit in the after hours on uh, FedEx. Uh, let me see if there was anything else. Oh yeah, Black uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. They came out with earnings, and uh, let's see. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, they came in with earnings of $0.67. Cents. Uh, they missed revenue by $70 million. And then the shares, uh, let's see, over here they closed $27. They're trading uh, 23 and change currently in the after hours on BBY. Uh, ALOG, ALOG uh, was another one that had earnings gapping down. Um, and Analog misses by ALOG, misses by $0.50, cents, misses on revenue. And that was for ALOG, and I think that's about it for um, you know the big names with earnings. And um, so now, let's go ahead and uh, check out some of the action uh, with our insider purchases. And we have uh, SIGM, ten percent owner, Soros purchased uh, thirty-two thousand. Over 32,000 shares. UAL director purchased uh, 15,000 shares. Let's just take a quick look at UAL, see if that did anything. Um, no, he's in there at 59.87. It's trading 57.55. Uh, SIGM uh, Soros, um, not, well, he got in at uh, 5.82, trading 6.25. So uh, let's see, MRIN, 10% owner, purchased. Uh, a lot of shares there so that's like well i think we're missing a comma in there somewhere but uh, a lot of shares on mrin uh next up we had bw 10 percent owner vintage purchased uh, over 1 million shares at 310 so that's uh, bw been seeing this one talked about uh by social media let's see where did he get in 310 trading uh 353 now so um, as far as some news after the bell, also in syndicate news, let's see, we had IOVA public offering 50 million, uh, MRNS closing of public offering, 
uh, MXWL proposed offering 50 million convertible senior notes and uh, XLRN proposed public offering common of 150 million. Uh, we'll scroll through some of the news. This is courtesy of the trade exchange. Um, Elizabeth Warren was out on a Kramer EFX and she was talking about uh, EFX uh, Equifax and uh, she was very negative obviously on that and then the other name was WFC and uh, she was negative on that but um, didn't do much damage in the after hours uh, this ORIG uh, one for 9200 that's right one for 9200 on September 2nd uh, I guess that's a uh, reverse split on ORIG that's a uh, oil company and uh, so that's uh, trading down in after hours uh, FedEx we noted was bouncing uh, in the after hours and then your uh, crude numbers your API numbers came out with a build but um, USO uh, you know popped a little bit on USO and um, you know gave back a little bit not a big move on the uh, USO and let's see if we missed anything I'll just scroll through it real quick and I think that's about it oh this uh, hurricane uh, Maria 175 mile per hour winds and then unfortunately Mexico City and Mexico had a uh, earthquake and uh, you know a lot of casualties there hearts go out to them and prayers and um, for Mexico and Mexico City so um, let's move on so some of our earnings tomorrow uh, we have uh, GIS which is uh, General Mills right GIS make sure I got my name right yeah General Mills shows you how often I trade uh, GIS but they have our earnings before the market uh, then after the market we have a couple um, MLHR MLHR I don't know Miller Herman Miller okay and uh, that's a uh, office equipment business equipment so nothing major after the bell or before the bell uh, tomorrow then for your economic uh, information big day tomorrow folks uh, you have the uh, FOMC meeting at 2 p.m. okay the announcement are they gonna raise rates not raise rates then at 2 30 we have the Fed chair presser conference uh, Yellen will be taking questions the big question is how are they gonna what are they gonna do with their balance sheet right they have 4.5 uh, gazillion dollars uh, they got to do something with it on their balance sheet and uh, so that's going to be the big question tomorrow so you know the spy is probably going to be jumping gold's going to be jumping TLT uh, and, and uh, TBT will be jumping uh, but before all that excitement happens uh, we do have a uh, at 7 a.m. MBA mortgage applications 10 o'clock existing home sales and then uh, we have the EIA petroleum oil status and that's at 1030 um, I don't see um, any Asian numbers coming up but this is gonna be big all right so just be aware two o'clock 230 um, you know you, if you're a swing trader you know you want to be in front of your screens and uh, you know make sure the market isn't getting sold off or you know pushing up and you can take some profits uh, for your earnings calls uh, for uh, tomorrow Wednesday uh, you know here's uh, here's a uh, General Mills at uh, 830 and then this uh, CPRT uh, they have an earnings call at 11 o'clock and then that's pretty much it for your earnings calls we'll look at the futures uh, right now and we have the Dow futures down about nine S&P futures down about two NASDAQ futures down about five in the commodities uh, we have gold uh, popping a little bit here up about four bucks on gold and uh, WTI uh, closed again at above fifty dollars on uh, WTI so that's your um, that is your um, futures look and let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at you know some of the markets not too many because there hasn't been much action in the actual markets but we'll take a look so another record high in the uh, Dow Jones 30 today you see it's been uh, running up since it broke up above that uh, 22,000 mark he tried to say um, and we are making new record highs here on the uh, Dow Jones uh, the spy itself and I'm sorry for all these lines let me because uh, I line my charts during the day on a lower time frame charts to get an idea where we are and um, you know we're had this uh, bounce off the 5 EMA we're staying above the 5 EMA 
Uh, we had on, uh, what was it, Thursday, uh, September 14th, a high of uh, 250.32. So uh, we haven't been able to uh, take that out yet um, on the SPY. Let's look at the SPX because the SPY also has been uh, ex-dividend. So this, on the SPX, uh, we have that high of uh, 25.08 on the uh, SPY. So, um, you know, we'll see if the bulls can break that. But you see we've been riding this uh, 5 EMA all the way up. On the uh, Qs, uh, a little bit different story, right? We're not near um, all-time highs on the uh, Qs. And uh, kind of uh, just in consolidation right now. Because, um, you know, some names like, uh, you know, Amazon are pulling back a little bit. And uh, Google, um, you know, under the 50 SMA. Uh, Tesla was uh, given an underperform today and uh, so that one pulled back a little bit and you notice we talked about this candle uh, last night and then we got the uh, follow through to the downside but I mean it's had a huge move uh, Tesla Netflix um, also uh, you know holding this 5 EMA Netflix looks the best out of all those uh, fang stocks let's check out uh, Facebook uh, Facebook holding up nicely here, holding the 20 SMA, holding this uh, 170 spot. So it looks like maybe if it gets up over that uh, 173 on a Facebook price line, uh, is another big name in the NASDAQ, and uh, that's below the 100, but holding the 20, but below the 50 after this gap down after earnings. Um, Who would I miss? Uh, NVIDIA, right? we got to look at NVIDIA now every day. A couple of... Uh, overhanging shadow candles inverted hammers at this 190 and i think that's to be expected right uh we had this uh, pop all the way up to 190 from uh, about uh, 168 170 so uh, you would expect there to be a little bit of uh you know push down draw down on uh, nvidia so uh, iwm we'll just take a quick look uh, pushing up big bounce you know iwm right from this uh, 134 continuing up now we come up to this uh, 144 level let's see what they want to do and then uh, iwc uh, nice pop and moving up uh, held this 84 spot so we've bounced uh, about uh, six bucks on the uh, iwc so you know let me tell you what i love about the stock market and uh, trading okay because at one point today right uh, I am tr we're trading uh, STAF right <coughs> excuse me and uh, this is a little one dollar stock right and we're trading STAF and we get it over that dollar break and we got a nice pop up to like 115 and uh, then we're trading uh, ATOS right and we got a nice pop in this one it was over um, played it over that 60 cents like 59 60 cents and it popped up to uh, 65 cents but the next thing you know is uh, I'm calling uh, you know workday right and uh, workday I called it over 106 uh, 85 and then it pops to uh, 107 25 so about a 40 cent gain in uh, workday so that's what I love about trading and I love about the stock market and that I love about my you know service I can go from those uh, small ones and then move up into you know these uh, larger names and uh, we also do these swing trades and we're doing fantastic on uh, SQ all right we're doing we're in this at uh, like 26 and change and it's all the way you know pushes up to uh, 29 so we're doing great on that one uh, Slumberger we're up like four dollars on this name for Slumberger and uh you know it's pushing pushed up to 68 we're in at 6405 so that's what i love about stocks and the stock market and that's why i love combining uh two, the two things swing trading and day trading you know some folks can only do the swing trading fortunately for me i can do both the day trading and the swing trading and there's a lot of folks in there that do the day trading also and uh, so uh, that's my spiel on my room and my trading. So let's go ahead and we'll, when I come back, we'll get right into that uh, watch list, I promise. Uh, so for the watch list, um, you know, since we have the FOMC, I have a nice mixture here. Um, and uh, first one up is this AER uh, airport and air services. And, um, you know, it's coming up over $50 a share. Uh, you see it's been riding the 50 SMA. So I'm looking more for a swing trade in this name. And I have to tell you, I've been a little um, 
we haven't been doing many swing trades because going into the FOMC, we've been a little light on the swing trade so far this week. Uh, but uh, after the FOMC, you know, if this one holds up, uh, this one looks like a nice candidate. Uh, a little one, uh, AEZS, uh, got on my radar today, uh, popped some volume, 1.2 million. So I'll have this one on watch. It did have a high of uh, 219, and uh, we'll see what this one wants to do. Uh, ALLY, you know, you see all these financials uh, popping, all right, like Citigroup, BAC, uh, Zion, uh, JP Morgan. So this ALLY, maybe it wants to play catch up. Uh, it's specialty finance, it needs to get over, you know, 2310, 2305 on uh, this ALY. Uh, you can see it right there, over 2305. Maybe that one goes more of a swing trade, but you see how it's been holding the 50 SMA. Uh, these uh, gun stocks uh, like AOBC and then uh, RGR, Ruger, uh, look at the big pop here in Ruger. So I don't know, maybe this one will get a, a play out of that one, I'm not sure. Um, and then there's that uh, AOBC, uh, kind of like this one a little bit better, looks like it's a little more manageable. And if I remember, R RGR uh has uh big spreads in it so uh, i think this uh, one will be on watch aobc uh cala uh this one is holding the 100 sma uh starting to turn up and uh, so i'll be looking for maybe a day trade in cala uh capr we have to keep this one on watch um and uh you know see if we can get some kind of uh pullback uh, maybe a red to green, maybe it pulls back to the two area and then moves back up. But it kind of filled the gap here on CAPR, so it might be done. So we'll see. Uh, CENX, uh, this is a very nice chart. Uh, basing under 20 again, holding the 20 SMA, holding this 19 area. You know, in that aluminum space, see Alcoa moving up. So CENX, maybe it wants to follow. And uh, so this one will be on watch, see if it could take out maybe uh, 1985. And this would be, I would lean more to a swing trade for this one. Uh, EBIO, it's been uh, popping, came up to the 200 SMA. We pulled back off of it, uh, 2 million shares. So we'll see if this can set up intraday. FOLD, um, you know, looking for that 14 break to um, hold. And, um, you know, I just can't swing a biotech stock. So unless it's like Amgen or Celgene or something like that, even then it's kind of hard. Uh, but uh, let's check out Guild, Celgene, just since I'm mentioning them. Um, so Celgene pushing up, uh, Amgen uh, pulling back a little bit. So, you know, we'll see. This fold looks interesting to me, maybe over that 1405 spot. Uh, first solar, uh, it popped, pulled back. Uh, then we hold the 20 SMA. So this one uh, may be over uh, 49 again. Maybe get that 50 break, a continuation from 49. Uh, since I have it, um, I'll go into Sedge 2. Uh, this one is holding up. Looking for it to take out maybe 2710. Uh, as far as the solar goes, it's kind of like flagging here. Uh, then we'll go into uh, Galt. All right, one of my members put this one on my uh, radar. And then it also came up on scans, uh, a little bit light in the volume, but as you see, it's been holding this uh, lows here of uh, 164 and it popped today. So, you know, stranger things have happened uh, in the market, you know, stuff like HMNY, you know, big rip ups like this. So who knows, you know, maybe Galt uh, might do that also. Uh, this other one, Grow, big pops in this. Looking maybe for like a red to green move or might even want to short it. I don't know if there's shorts available on it. Uh, asset management. So it's a financial stock. So we'll see. Uh, HMNY, speaking of that one, the big pop today. So we'll see if there's any more, uh, you know, trades in this one. Uh, looks like it needs to rest though. Uh, J-O-N-E, little oil gas name here. Coming up to this $1.70 spot, 2.3 million shares. It's curled up. It's had actually a nice run, but we'll see if there's anything left in the tank. Uh, K-O-O-L, like I mentioned, had earnings. Uh, very light volume stock, but um, we'll see if this one wants to uh, do anything. Medical devices on K-O-O-L, K-T-O-S. Uh, this one is in the uh, defense sector. And uh, looking for that uh, maybe 1250, 1260 break on K-T-O-S. 
uh, held this 1150. Let's see if they want to, you know, push that one up. Uh, LITE, I was watching this one today. It needs to get over, you know, 60 bucks here on LITE. Uh, we came up to it, uh, 59.85. We've done it several times. And, you know, the first time this gets through 60, I don't even know if I could pull the trigger on it. I might need it to pull, push up and then pull back to 60 and see if it holds. So I'll see on that one. Uh, LLNW, uh, over 800,000 shares traded and uh, looking for maybe a continuation move in this one on LLNW, MBOT. Uh, we've traded this several times in the room for gains. We traded it today. We had a nice uh, pop in it. So now I'm looking for to see if it can get over that uh, 130, 132 spot on uh, MBOT, MYOS. Uh, drug manufacturing popped off of 125. 500,000 shares. Let's see if this one sets up. Kind of a sloppy chart, though. Not too pretty. NLNK continues to drift down, but we did get a hammer candle today on NLNK. So we'll see if this one wants to set up. Maybe uh, retake $12 on NLNK. NVCN. Uh, nice pop today in this name. Coming up to this 175 spot. Uh, let's see if it can uh, maybe push through uh, 175. Uh, volume was a little bit under a million shares on NVCA medical devices. Uh, PULM uh, had a pop. The CEO came out and said some encouraging comments. It popped up to uh, 225, about the 100 SMA. So we'll see if this one uh, sets up for tomorrow. Uh, RGR, we spoke about ROSG. Uh, nice pop in this name, 2.4 million shares traded. Um, you know, I, this came up on my scanners and I took it and then I took a seven cent loss. And um, so I just couldn't, I didn't have my timing right on this. And then it popped up over a dollar fifty, and I didn't want to get back in it. So, um, but uh, maybe I'll get a trade in ROSG tomorrow. SEGG, SEDG, we talked about. Uh, TEL. Uh, we're looking for that like 1110 break on uh, tell to see if we can get a continuation move. The high today was 1101, so maybe 1105 will be enough on TEL. -L. Uh, WAC, here's one of those under $1 names, but uh, you see all this volume that came in. So looking for this one maybe to take out uh, 68 cents for the 75 cent break. Uh, XGTI. Uh, you know, it's holding a dollar sixty here. It got 1.1 million shares. Uh, you know, not a favorite, but uh, we'll see if there's anything in this one. Uh, Zynga, uh, this one would have to be a swing trade, uh, but if it can clear maybe this uh, 395, uh, maybe it gets going for possible swing trade. Uh, check out Glue, isn't that? That's pretty much in the same industry that gaming, uh, electronic gaming, and you see that one's popping and pop to new highs. So that's the watch list. Um, you know, I hate you. I know you guys hate it when I do this stuff, but, um, uh, you know, I got to get the word out for my site. And, um, you know, we are doing now a weekly subscription, $29.95, because people have been asking me for a free trial and I don't want to do free trials. Um, but I will do this. I'll do a weekly and you can come try us out for 30 bucks. You get all the bells and whistles for 30 bucks if you want to give us a try um, and then you can kind of move up to the monthly or the semi and uh, then there's the annual right and right now you can lock in your price it's 20 percent off um, you know don't hesitate we have a great room we do day trading swing trading if you're working um, you can uh, definitely you know follow our room we have a private twitter feed and then those uh, calls go right to your mobile phone on uh, through Twitter and uh, you get uh, like those SMS messages on your mobile phone so um, you know a lot of different ways you can come check our group out so uh, you know I got by popular demand we started a, a weekly subscription because I wasn't going to do free subscriptions um, and subs you know upset my members so we're going to go ahead and do this weekly one uh, normally it would go for $39.95 and um you know we're gonna do it oops that says per month uh, but it should read uh 39.95 per week and uh, you see here it says weekly so if you want to come check us out um, you're more than welcome to do so um, you get to see my scanners during the day the screen share 
you have news in the room. We have audio news. I make calls over the mic. Um, I give you, um, you know, exact entries before they trigger. I give you stops and pretty much I talk you through the, uh, you know, for day trading, I talk you through the day trade and I also give instructions for the swing trades too. All right. Thank you so much for listening. This has been Zozo Stock Watch and you all have a great night. I will see you with a new stocks to watch list for Thursday. Uh, let's hope uh, Janet Yellen doesn't ruin the momentum uh, going into the market. We'll have to see how she, how she does on the uh, questions and the presser tomorrow and what they're going to do with that uh, that uh, Fed balance sheet. All right, everybody have a great night. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't be too mad that I, uh, you know, pumped my uh, service a little bit. But hey, you know, I, I think I run a really good service and I would love for you to come and try it. Thank you so much for listening and have a very nice evening. Zozo Stockwatch.